we found particularly in poultry when we give the probiotics which is a lactobacillus yeast we found that the animals which were suffering from enterotoxic diarrhea could recover within three weeks and recovered in their body weight gain. And also the mortality which was around 3% came down to 1%. So just by providing small quantities of these probiotics or the feed additives, we could bring in an enormous change in the health of the animals because of the defense mechanism and defense of, because of the immune response that was inculcated into the animals by providing these feed additives. Well, there are two things. Today, if you look into poultry and piggery, the backyard poultry or the piggery, the smallholders are taking it up in a big way. It works for the smallholders. But the problem in particularly feed additives in large ruminants has been that the results are not very consistent because of the simple reason the type of diet which is associated the type, the physiological conditions of the animals vary and there is uh, reports which is not very consistent in the results. But let me tell you, the problem of addressing, going to biotechnology, reaching the farmers is very important if you can take the farmers along with you. The farmers have to be taken with you when you are doing this kind of research in biotechnology. Give them the proper transparent information about what is being done. And I am telling you, the farmers are hungry for good science. They are ready to accept it. Today, in India, when we see no farmer, when I am interviewing them, they say, no, no, they say we don't want subsidy. What we want is a quality product. We want something which can enhance the productivity of our animals. I think this was a very, very interesting symposium where we talked about biotechnology and particularly addressing the smallholder system. I think this is the type of uh, interaction which we require with the academia, with the industry. And yesterday we had with the students across the globe and that's something new which has been introduced by FAO. And I think this should be further taken up so that we understand the problems at the grassroots level and also biotechnology is one field today which is very, very important and critical in addressing various situations whether it is food security or nutritional security or addressing the climate change impact.